sing to me of the man, Muse, the man of twists and turns, driven time and again, of course, once he had plundered the hollowed heights of Troy. Sing to me through of log. Hey guys, Odysseus. This is my vlog. So, I just got home to my ever so loyal and beautiful wife, Penelope. I just got home to her from finally being captured on the island of Ogygia. Excuse me. Being captured on the island of Ogygia with the so perfect goddess Calypso. Oh, how I miss her. But not as much as I miss my crew members. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, um, anyway, there's one reason why I lost my crew members. There's also one reason why my whole journey home was delayed, and just why my entire trip was a disaster and I didn't get home as early as I thought it was. It's because of one thing. Hubris. Now, some of my new viewers who are not familiar with the life of the ever so amazing Odysseus. Hubris is basically arrogance or being overly cocky. I have to admit, as a soldier and like an amazing warrior and like a super handsome person and like a super talented person, I can sometimes have a tendency to have some hubris. I mean, it's not that bad, but I guess it's bad enough that it ruins some of my journey. So, yeah. So we can basically say hubris is super, I mean super, detrimental to the progress of one's journey. Okay? <laughs> I just can't stop crying. It's like, it's like everything in my life. I just, I just can't stop crying. Like, like, oh. Example number one of how hubris affected my journey home. So, um, I was with this monster that they call the Cyclops, I think, now? But whatever, it's, like, it's stupid. I, like, destroyed him. Well, okay, technically I destroyed him, but let me just get more into detail. So, my crew and I were expecting him to have some xenia. That's another Greek term. That means, like, hospitality. So... We were expecting the Cyclops to have Xenia. Oh, and by the way, the Cyclops has one eye, and it's, like, really weird. And he's, like, a monster. So we were expecting this monster to have Xenia, but he's a monster, A, and B, he's a son of Poseidon. And don't get me wrong, Poseidon's really mean. He has more hubris than I do. Well, I don't have a lot of hubris, but anyway. So I wanted food, and my crew wanted food. I mean, we weren't starving or anything, but, like, come on, show us some Xenia, old pal. Like... Come on. <sighs> Turns out, he didn't really have that much senior. Long story short, a bunch of my crew members died. This is just like one of those examples when my hubris made them cry. <laughs> oh no, not cry, die, I'm crying. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just have a tendency to cry a lot, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm, I'm gonna have to talk later, like, my emotions are getting too. Do you see, like, my face? It's so wet. Like, my skin's perfect, and... My hair is perfect, but, like, when I have this much, like, salt on my skin, it doesn't look so good. Yeah, it, do it really doesn't look so good. I'm sorry, like, I can't be filming a video like this and sending it to all of Ithaca in this condition. So, ciao for now. Hey, guys. It's Odysseus. This is my vlog. So, I know I'm fresh off my emotional breakdown or whatever I was doing yesterday, but new Odysseus, new day, you know? I also got some... Cool glasses. I don't know what those would be called for you guys, you idiot mortals, but I call these glasses. So yeah. Uh, maids, I'd like it if you settle down a little. You're talking a little too much. Those are my maids. They're stupid. I'll probably execute them sometime soon, but whatever. Okay, guys. Reason number two. Two. About how hubris affected my journey. Maids, shut up! I'm better than all of you. I don't know why you're talking. Alright, hey, it's Odysseus. Welcome back. Um, 
Those mans were just getting me super frustrated. I just had to take a breather. It was a long breather. I took a nap. I cried a little. Might have gotten with some women, but that's not important. What's important is I continue with this reflection vlog. Because I feel like I need to reflect on the stupid decisions I made and how they affected not just me, but the other people like around me and stuff. Oh, by the way, I changed again. I have a pretty great wardrobe. So, number two. So, where do I start with this one? So, basically, I had a bag on the boat with my crew member coming from some place. I can barely even remember. It feels like it was 20 years ago. It might have actually been 20 years ago. I have no idea. I'm not good at math. Actually, I am. I'm good at everything. Anyway, so I had a bag, and I didn't want to tell my crew what it was because they were incompetent, and yeah. A lot of things would have been messed up if they opened the bag. So I just kept it to myself. I sailed the ship all by myself because I'm strong, powerful, independent, competent, uh, not reliable in other people. Um... I feed myself. I don't have people feed me, okay? But, turns out this hubristic behavior of mine really led to them being curious. Oh, what's in the bag? What's in the bag? So, of course, I had to open the bag while I was sleeping because it turned out it wasn't as powerful as I thought it was and I really couldn't see that chip all by myself. So, I opened the bag and I was this close to Ithaca. This close! This close. That close to Ithaca. And it blew me all the way back to square one. So yeah. So now it's real reflection time. I'm actually not going to be hubristic at all. And I'm just going to reflect hardcore. Alright. To summarize. My hubris affected the people around me and affected me. It delayed my journey home. Killed some of my crew members. Uh, many regret some decisions, but also, I guess, there might have been some good stuff in this. I mean, hmm, I learned a lesson, lots of lessons, actually. Um, I learned loyalty. I was loyal to my wife. I was pretty loyal. I mean, why wouldn't I be? Like, I know I'm attractive and everything, but, like, I can handle that. So, yeah, that's what I've learned from my hubristic behavior. Now it's time to kill some suitors.